You could never have enough police officers to police this because you'd literally need a police officer per conversation. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Paul Cox here. That was me on GB News Headliners last night with Josh Howey and Lewis Schaefer. And we were discussing the fact that the SNP are adding ageism to the already, quite frankly, ridiculous hate speech bill in Scotland. What have the SNP done to good old Scotland. This now means that if you call someone a grumpy old man or a 50-year-old Karen, you could end up with a criminal record. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You can go down big time for calling Karen a Karen. Before we carry on, subscribe, like, leave a comment, make it hateful. Why not? Some of you love it, don't you? Who cares? It's free speech, baby. Let's go. Well, I'm, I'm not going to sit on a fence with this one, I can tell you. Uh, calling someone old lands Scots, could land Scots with a criminal record under new woke laws being introduced by the SNP to tackle ageism. Now, can we all agree at this point, it feels like the patients have overtaken the asylum. Being rude... It's is not like being Scotland. Uh, well, it is in this case, and this is all part That's of... That's a hate crime right there. Yeah, well, exactly, and I'm, luckily I'm not in Scotland because you're absolutely right. I would be in danger of saying that and committing a hate crime in Scotland. Look, be being rude is not a hate crime. Saying someone is old or a Karen is not a hate crime. It, it is rude, it's unpleasant, and we should probably do better. However, it's the last thing we've got. I mean, this is Scotland, for goodness sake. In Scotland, they are brilliant at being rude. Why would you take it away from them? Why would you take rudeness away from any of us? Because it's the last thing we've got now. We can't do anything else. Ageism is funny as well. I don't know. I mean, well, half my routines are gone now. I mean, Lewis... That's not true, by the way. I haven't got any ageism in any of my routines. Please don't come at me. I mean, you will anyway, but, you know, just not on that basis. I mean, Lewis, yeah. partly, the, the, you know, this whole thing is they're adding ageism to their previous characteristics of hate crime, hate crime which are sexuality. But isn't part of it that there's just, it doesn't really matter, there's not that many old people in Scotland? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they all yes, died of heroin. Yes, heroin. I think it's, I think it's kind of so, so funny, the idea you can be arrested and put in jail because of, you know, this kind of thing. It's imagine you're, imagine the guy's in jail, what, what are you in for, what are you in for? <laughs> I call Louis Schaefer a grumpy old man. <laughs> you know, oh my God, you can't do that. You can't do that. I think it's similar to, can I, can I put a little historical perspective on this? It's like this, we're in the end of days, it's like, it's like they got rid of Cromwell because he prevented people from dancing and singing and having parties, right? You learned that in your fancy school that you went to. <laughs> and someday they're gonna, say, they're gonna say, we're getting rid of the government here because they prevented people from kind of being rude to each other. Yeah, but isn't the thing is that they passed this, originally this legislation, but they yeah. haven't actually enacted on it because they don't have the police power to be able to do anything about it. But also, I remember there was a thing about Humza Yusuf. He, um, he actually would have been done using this, because he, ref he referred to Isla, you know, the... Bryce, the yeah. Bryce, yeah, as a, as a man. And that actually yeah. breaks the legislation yep. that he himself has put into place. It's right. ridiculous. You could never have enough police officers to police this because you'd literally need a police officer per conversation. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you have it. Another day and the SNP have influenced the law to a ridiculous extent again in Scotland. Under what, guys, we no longer know. We don't know where anybody's progressing to anymore. And what's incredible to me is the nationalists in Scotland who are usually sort of thumping their fists and shouting freedom and wearing their kilts are now having to back this stuff. They've got no choice. They have to back this stuff because it's coming from their party. You might counter that by saying the SNP isn't the only way to independence, but it is the only party in Scotland other than the Greens who are, well, the Greens, that have got any sympathy, inclination, empathy towards isolationism and nationalism whatsoever. So this is what you got. This is it. It's the SNP. I mean, just don't get upset at any point. Smile, cuddle. Don't cuddle. Actually, don't cuddle. Don't touch anyone. Don't look at anyone. Maybe don't even smile. Just, just, just sit still and wait to die.